A lot happening here. We just had a double technical call. We'll talk about that in a moment after we tell you about 1 Eastern tomorrow. Join CBS Sports Network Live. Mohegan Sun Basketball Hall of Fame Holiday Showcase. First up, Bob Huggins, WV Mountaineers of the Big 12. Take on Rhode Island of the A-10 at 3.30 Eastern. Dayton first off against Tulsa. We have some great hoops coming your way tomorrow from Connecticut. Tulsa has beaten back-to-back Big 12 teams in Oklahoma State and Kansas State. I love Jeff Dalton. Good guard for Rhodey. While we are away during the break, Coach, we've got offsetting technical fouls. Bruce Pearl, Robert Eason. We're getting after it a little bit. Two tees call. We have no free throws. We'll just have the free throw for Bryant on the three-point play. Exactly. Double technical. They offset each other. The basket was good on the drive. Bruce Pearl went ballistic. And uh, it's play on now. One free throw for UAB. Double technical on both head coaches. Looks like Bruce Pearl was pointing to Robert Eason, David. They were like pointing that. at each other. And at the very end, Robert Eason got a couple more words against Bruce Pearl. Wow. And boy, it was all friends and handshakes. Of course, oh, it's yeah. a benefit Mike Sly's foundation here tonight. Yeah. Former Conference USA and SEC commissioner who tragically passed away in May of prostate cancer. But once the game has started, man, this is a big one for Alabama State Pride. Huge signature type win for UAB. Possibly. Dave, you do not want to wake up the Tiger. Let the Tiger sleep. This Tiger now starting to growl a little bit. Let's see what happens. 2-3 zone here by UAB because they're going the ball inside a lot, so they're trying to negate that. But going to Wiley. Great job by Auburn. Getting to the big fella. Got to get the ball to Zach Bryant. A foul. Jumo Kiki second for Bruce Pearl. Bruce Pearl, don't believe it. There's a lot of referees in the stands here, Dave. Dressed in orange. It is a, a pro Auburn crowd tonight. A lot of Auburn grabs a burning hand. And a foul called Bryant. Position on Bryce Brown. And now Bryant picks up his third. Good call. He ran him over. Yep, he ran him over. Good call. Bryce Brown did a nice job stepping in front of Zach Bryan. It's Pearl. Tremendous emotions. Did a great job building up this program, Dave. First year they were 15 and 20. Second year 11 and 20. 18 and 14. 26 and 8. And this year, probably the best team they've ever had at Auburn. Maybe the most talented Dave ever. Well, Daniel Pirafoy is back. He's returned tonight. Wiley, jump hook, way short. Still up on defensive glass. UAB's got to take their time, put them to sleep, protect the basketball. Got to get turnovers now if you're Auburn. Get the defense, get their offense going, David. They only had five points off turnovers in the first half. Last game against Dayton, had 32 points off turnovers. So they got to get some turnovers now for Auburn to get going, get the crowd into it even more. Right up top five to shoot for UAB. Zach Bryant, foul call on the way to the basket. Against Auburn. Zach, Zach Bryant's played a great game, Dave, so far. Now, can he maintain it? Can he do that? I don't know. Because they're, they're coming at him in waves and waves. Different guys. McCormick's on him, right? And Bryce Brown's on him. Inbounds play. Sullivan takes advantage. Auburn wasn't ready. And Lewis Sullivan hits the short lefty jumper. Brown is foul. It is going to be Perry and not Bryant's fourth. Two on Jalen Perry, Pete. That was big, yep. Just fell asleep, Dave, as you said. Wiley and Okiki just fell asleep. Yeah, we spoke to Jared Harper and Bryce Brown, and they each told us we know we're in for a tough fight tonight. So they're expecting this type of game. It's really no surprise that Bryce Brown and Auburn are being challenged by UAB and Conference USA. They were ready for it. No question. And uh, as you know, the last three years, Auburn Dave, Spencer 2015, it was a one-point win for Auburn. 2016, it was a four-point win. And last year, it was a five-point win. So last three games that Auburn has won, last three years, has been a total of 10 points. So we'll see. This Auburn team is very explosive, Dave. 
But it's tough to explode if you don't have the ball. Exactly. And if UAB is going to continue with this half-court offense, which they will, there's no question, yeah. up by five here with half a half to go. Got to get them all in bounds. I don't like the way to do it. Right off to Pete Gillen saw it. Brian on the baseline, turnover. You have to screen to get the ball in bounds, Dave, and you got to get it not in the corner like that. Lucky they haven't gotten burned before on that. Big possession now for the Tigers. Go inside. Dunbar up top. Hits. side of the floor. Two-point game. Team foul number six. One more foul and UAB shoot. The run is here. As much of a run as can be created. Yep. How will UAB withstand it is a question. Can they continue to produce with this delivered half-court offense? Won't be easy to close this game. Four to shoot. Perry launches. Play on. Harper. Long rebound. Harper, the run out. The lay in. Timeout. Blazers. Caught flat-footed Pete a moment ago after the block that created what we thought might be a shot clock violation. McNamara out, but no buzzer because Perry puts a shot up. Harper grabbed it. UAB was ready to fan and takes it all the way in for the layup. I thought it was a shot clock violation myself, Dave. You know, I stopped for a second, but they kept playing the Tigers. So uh, now the Tigers are going with real small team. Two point guards. We see blocks. Season six tonight, they got five, so uh, fourth in the NCAA, doing a great job blocking. Right. Zach Bryant's got to come get the ball now. He's their best ball handler. I like Bell, but he's more of a shooter, Dave. Ah! Oh, turnover. Double dribble. Bell was trying to get it to Bryant, coach, like you said. And McCormick kind of jumped the route a bit and causes the double dribble. That's a bad turnover. Yeah. That's Brian's fault. He's got to come get it. Give me the rock. He's got to run over. Jeremy Bell's a fine play, but he's not a point guard. UAB has got to settle down here. Yep. This game could turn fast. No question about Auburn. it. Harper. Too strong. Long rebound. Bryant. Here's the one out for Perry. Thought about transition three. Look at the aggressive play. And a foul called Javon McCormick, his second. And that means one and one coming up here for UAB's Perry. Javon McCormick, that is his second team foul seven. He'll be one of the most. The good news is now shooting a one and one. The bad news, they only shoot 67% from the line, Dave. So to beat a great team like Auburn, eighth in the country, you got to do a lot better than that. He shoots 56.3%. That's it for Jalen Perry, senior from Louisville. One point from tying his career high set against North Alabama earlier this year. Go ahead. Missed it. Fresh possession for UAB. Mac Targay gets it back to Bryant wisely. Giant offensive rebound. They lead Conference USA with 14 offensive rebounds a game, Dave, as you know. So, big rebound for the Blazers. Taven Lovin, eight to shoot. Bryant bumps. Malik Dunbar picks up his second. And Bryant to the free throw line with a one and one here for UAB. One and one for UAB. And number one, Zach Bryant. 71% free throw shooter on the year. UAB is 0 for 2 in the game, coach. 0 for 2 total. 0 for 3. I've not hit a free throw tonight, and yet are tied against the eighth ranked team in the country. Look at that. Yep. 
you don't make your free throws, you're not going to beat a great team like Auburn. Back Full to zone. back, front end misses. Harper for three. Back iron. McElroy trying to fight it. Perry does in the corner. Needs some help. And he's got it from Bryant. Nice job by Robert Eason. Played zone, Dave. Took him out of the rhythm a little bit. They weren't unsure. Took a quick shot. Over play. Loose. Out of bounds to UAB. When we return. A rocking legacy arena. Downtown Birmingham, Alabama. Great matchup tonight. Dave, when you're in Birmingham, Alabama, you got to talk about the Vulcan. It's the largest cast iron statue in the world, and it represents the people here. The city became great because of the iron and steel industry. The Vulcan is 56 feet high. It was made in Italy in 1904, came here about the 1930s, and is surrounded by Park and Museum. I love the Vulcan. He's represented the hardworking great people here in Birmingham. But the great people on Auburn are blocking every shot. Six in the country in shot blocks, Dave. And a tremendous blocking shots, doing an excellent job, and their defense has got them back in the game, and we're gonna have a tremendous last seven minutes and 56 seconds to go. Fourth in the NCAA, it's unbelievable. So, Next foul for UAB puts Auburn at the free throw line. And Blazers trying to rebound from back-to-back -back misses front end of the one and one, costing yeah. them four points. All right, have not made one yet, Dave. You said before. amazing. Over yep. three in the game. Yeah. Well. Three seconds to shoot. Bryant floats off the glass and in. Tough shot. What a shot by Zach Bryant. It's good defense, Dave, but better offense. Dunbar catches, low block, shot rattles out. Spencer hits. Back and fourth game tonight in Birmingham. They keep throwing defenders at Zach Bryant for UAB. Fourth the fifth guy on him, Dave. I don't know how we can hang in there. Trying to shoot. Bryant. Maktar Gay in a tough spot. Five to shoot. Needs some help. He's out of bounds. Just a three second call. It, you name it. It was not going to happen there for UAB. Nice penetration by Bryant. Nice floater. Using a glass. Tough, tough shot. It's like Tony Parker taking that floater when he was with San Antonio Spurs. And now he's with Charlotte. But uh, great shot. If I'm Auburn, go inside, Dave. They can't guard him inside. Go inside to Spencer. Give it to one of the big fellas. Harper kicks for Dunbar for three. Can't connect. Spencer foul bar by Sullivan. Good foul. Third foul, Lewis Sullivan, the senior lefty. And free throws coming up. That. Is a battle. Yeah. Robert Eason told us today his team would have to compete for 40 minutes against a top 10 team. It would not be easy. I have not seen any back down from UAB at all tonight in any aspect of the game. One more for Spencer. No question. Shoots 54% from the line. Yeah. Now, Robert Eason, we told us today, we talked to him today, he says this is a tougher team, a grittier team. A more physical team. We lost four starters, four excellent players, but he likes his team. They got to blend them together. A lot of newcomers, but they got a chance to have a real good season. Spencer rattles in the second. Another guy in Zach Bryan. Here's Bryce Brown, who's a tremendous on ball defender today. Perry, that's a long three, way off, long rebound, Dowdy has it, Harper fires a pass to Bryce Brown. Out of bounds to Spencer, who spins, lost it. 18 to shoot for Auburn. Number five, Jamal. The inside game has been so important for Bruce Pearl, who told us Pete as Spencer is out that 
These two guards, Harper and Brown, are maybe the best he's ever had. Yep, they're tremendous players, Dave, because they're outstanding on offense and defense. They play both ends. And especially Bryce Brown, what a tremendous on-ball defender. Leading three-point scorer ever in Auburn's history. It made more than anybody. And he had some good ones in Tennessee. No question. This little general here, this guy's a great player, Harper. Harper. Can't finish our spectacular move of the basket. Gay the rebound. Needs some help, though. Help him. Maktar Gay throws it. And it's out of bounds. The Blazer guards not helping on the outlet pass, and it's a turnover. Exactly, Dave. You got to help the big fella. 6'11. Nice drive. That circus shot just rolls out. They can't get the rebound. What a great show. How athletic is he? Wow. Yep. Yep. Auburn's deeper, Dave. Bigger, more athletic, more talented. Bryce Brown, watched by Jeremiah Bell. Yep. is not played, by the way, coach, in the second half. Seven minutes in the first half yep. for Robert in his return after 21-month yep. absence. Harper to the basket, high off the glass, yep. and in for Jared Harper. That was sweet. Yeah, he's tremendous. He's going to take over the game, Dave. Tremendous point guard. <laughs> Biggest possession of the game right now for the Blazers. Can they stay in contact? I drive the ball, try to get to the free throw line. Loving to the basket, floats way strong. It's a blocking call. On Chuma Okiki. Unbelievable. Way high off the glass, Dave. He threw that almost to the top of the board. Jared Harper, one of the top point guards in the country. Unbelievable. Team foul number nine, it is two shots. Well, it's close. I think he was in a restricted area, Dave. I think he was. But that was close. Uh, Taven Lovin, coach, free throw line. Hits the first free throw of the night for UAB. Can you believe that? With yeah. five to go in regulation, UAB one for four from the free throw line tonight. And one more for the freshman from Franklin, Kentucky. Hits two big ones. Your Auburn keep going inside. While he's playing well inside, and go to him or get it to the little general, Jared Harper to drive. I don't think they can keep Harper out of the lane, Dave. It's too quick. He is just so fast. Case in point to the paint. Harper too strong though. Okiki gets caught. That's a tie up, and it goes the other way. Lodge between the rim and the backboard. Uh, circus shot. Just. Dave, no matter who wins this game, both these teams will win this tonight. Playing hard, sh sharing the basketball. What a great job. Mac Targay needs some help and calls a timeout before a turnover. Time out of Birmingham, one point game. UAB coach Gillen is out of timeouts. 52-51 yep. game with a lot of time left in regulation. And Jared Harper is the only Tiger in double figures in this game. Jared Harper is one of the best point guards in the country. Shake and bake way downtown. He should stay 44% from three. Get into the lane. Get finished in traffic. He get into the lane anytime he wants to. He can live in there. Some of my guards that I coached, the only time he got in the lane was a picture day. You know, media day. We were in the, took a team photo. And then they were quickly out, you're saying? <laughs> no. <laughs> team photo was the only time he got in the lane That's all it. year. But uh, Harper's a great play. You got to get help with him. Bryce Brown's been quiet. Harper, 12 points on four, 13 shooting with a couple rebounds and two assists to his credit in 32 minutes so far. What UAB has to do, Dave, is screen to help each other get free because Auburn's doing a great job face guard, not little, and they're bigger, more athletic, and stronger. So, you know, they got to screen to help each other get free. If not, they're going to get another turnover. They were lucky before they didn't get a turnover. So, uh, 
They're out of bounds, getting the ball in. It's key now for UAB. For Auburn, you're in good shape. Just play good defense. Keep going inside. They can't handle you inside. Got an official timeout here. We'll try to get an explanation as soon as possible in a one-point game here for Birmingham. UAB thought it had one timeout left, and they don't. So out of play stoppages here in regulation. Three remaining for Auburn in our second half as crunch time approaches. That's no big. Question. Credit the Auburn defense, Dave, would have them expend those timeouts. Once again, you, you got a screen to help them get in. And then roll back to the ball. Big guy screen, roll back to the ball. Auburn does a great job every day. They work on this. They denying the ball in bounds. The best part of their pressure defense. And Zach Bryan's got to play with a big heart, Dave. He's got to run the show for the Blazers. <clears throat> Bryant, the take. And a two. And a one for Zach Bryant. That's a big chance for a three-point play for UAB. That's what I call with a big heart. Nice stop and go. Take the handoff. Goes to the cup. Nice finish by Zach Bryant. He's only a sophomore. The top players in Conference USA. We talked with practice today, Dave, and he seemed very confident and poised. He was looking forward to the challenge. He said, we're going to be the toughest dogs on the court tonight. Because Auburn, they've got some tough guys. Three-point play. Blazers by two. They try to keep the ball away for Jared Harper. From UAB. Off ball foul. Dave, that's Zach Sullivan. Bryan's fault. He's got to yell. Screen, screen. That is against Sullivan, coach, and that's his fourth. Yep. And Zach Bryan's got to tell him. Eight. Back screen, back screen. Good call. He just ran him over. Harper shoots for Auburn. Hits the first. 91.3% from the line. 21 of 23 entering play tonight for Jared Harper, junior from Mableton, Georgia. Second team all SEC a year ago. What a star this guy is. Tested the NBA waters after last year. And Auburn fans ecstatic he elected to return to the Plains. All tied. They take their time, try to run the shot clock under 10. I would look to drive the basketball, Dave, unless you're wide open. There's a three points shooting is not their strength. Perry watched by Dowdy. Six to shoot here for UAB. Jalen Perry hangs. Really tough shot. Too strong. Harper. Rebound. Run out for Auburn. Harper the basket for two. Pro Auburn crowd erupts again on their feet. Bryant blocked by Wiley out of bounds. We've got a timeout in Birmingham. One of the best point guards in the country going coast to coast. He's lightning quick, shake and bake like a halfback going through the lane. Jared Harper, remember his name. He's got big time game. The Tigers in a tussle with UAB tonight here in Birmingham. Adjustments, coach. Well, second half adjustments now for uh, both teams. For Auburn, points off turnovers only had five the first half, only six the second half. They had 32 points off turnovers against Dayton in the last victory. They averaged 20 points or more. And for uh, UAB, knocked down threes, three for 14, 21%. Not much better, Dave, two for six, only 33%. So they can't make threes. They got to shoot the ball better to have a chance to win. But the, a gutty effort by UAB. Long way to go, anybody's ball game. Nine points for Brian in the second half after a bagel in the first here tonight. Both team rules had to start the last couple games for UAB. Back in the lineup tonight, he has been outstanding. As UAB tries to knock off the eighth ranked team of the nation. Five to shoot, Brian on cue. Short. 
Great move. Just couldn't finish a shot. Now, if you're Auburn, Dave, I would go inside. Take your time. I want Jared Hopper driving, or I want to throw the ball inside to Austin Wiley. That's what I want to do if I'm the Tigers. You get the three and let you wide open. Eight to shoot for Bryce Brown. Drives the paint, kicks. Oh, Kiki. Back iron. That's not Long the shot I want. On Bryant. Bryant is running. And can't finish on a lay-in try. But he hustles in the corner to find the handle. Knocked out of bounds by Auburn. No timeouts left for UAB, Dave. Would be a nice time to have one now, but none left. Goes to the defense of Auburn. Caused some timeouts that they didn't want to use. Wiley out, Spencer in for Bruce Pearl. And a full shot clock now. Take their time. You want to play at your pace. <clears throat> Try to pass the basket under 10 seconds. Sullivan with a four fouls. No foul if you're Auburn. No foul. Yeah. Offensive foul. Bad call, Dave. No doubt. He's moving. He's moving. That's a foul on Harper. He's moving. No. You know what happened? Bruce Pearl was killing the referee. He was yelling at him. He finally, his point was made. That's Bruce Pearl doing a great job coaching, getting on the officials. And they call that. That was a block. Referees are doing a good job, but they missed that call. First on Bell. Reach. Foul. And Robert Eason is beside himself. Yeah. That is going to be Butler, and that's his third. Ten team fouls. So two free throws here for the best free throw shooter yeah. on the Auburn roster, one of the best in the nation, and Jared Harper. Auburn 16 for 22 from the line tonight. Stats go north. This little guy's a great player, Dave. Auburn has some terrific talent, but for my money, he's the best player on the court for the Tigers. 53rd career double-figure game coming tonight for Jared Harper, the junior. He had 27 last year. It's a guy who's hit six threes twice this year, one time in Maui against Duke. Harper, versatile player. Exactly. He shoots 44% day from three-point land. Ooh. And the Auburn crowd, again, rocking. They had two possession game. UAB desperately needs points on this possession. Great defense by Auburn. Bell floats his way short. Severe down in the rebound. Over, take your time. I'd have Harper drive, Dave, one to ten seconds. Have him penetrate. Can't keep him out of the lane. Harper, drive it. Was big indeed for the Blazers. What a battle of point guards. Garrett Harper, one of the best point guards in the country, and Zach Bryant, tremendous player for UAB. Bryant has 12 points and 10 rebounds tonight. Foul on Bryant. That's his fourth. Garrett Harper shaking bait. Ali U throwing it down on Kiki. But here we go. They all, they all com converge on Harper, threw it up to the moon. Okiki, a great athlete, going to be a star for the Tigers in the future. Finishing it. This guy's some player, Jared Harper. Team best 18 tonight. 19. Smooth. <laughs> 20 points, 7 assists, and 1 turnover last week against Dayton at home in 34 minutes. I mean, he does it all for Auburn at a high level. And doesn't miss from the line. 
Right. No timeouts left for UAB. Trouble with the inbounds pass. They'll try it again. Can't move now. Lewis Sullivan can't move on a deflection. He moves as a turnover. Hope he knows it. Here's Bell. 40 seconds in regulation. Bell needs it for UAB. He's got it. No timeouts, remember. And a foul. And it's Harper, who's been outstanding for the line tonight. He's 8 of 8 from the free throw line. He'll shoot yep. two here. Yep. Yep. Robert Eason said we don't need a foul. Big time shot. Jeremiah Bell. Wow. Jake and Bake way downtown in traffic. Yeah. Uh, but he says we didn't need a foul. We had time. You don't want to foul this guy. On the year, he's 29 of 31 from the line. Oh, that's just unbelievable. This one. Oh, out of bounds to UAB. It was almost a foul by Okiki, Dave. And a one possession game with exactly. a lot of time left. Yep. yep. I wouldn't foul now, but if it was under 10 seconds, I'd give a foul. If I'm Auburn, not right now, too much time. Three-second differential, shot clock, game clock. Bell to get about a two. Kick out Bryant to tie it. Bell's at it. Rebound. Back for Bell for three. Yes! Get it to the little general. He's going to the hoop. Harper, final seconds for the win. Rattles out. Rebound. Perry. And we've got some overtime tonight for Birmingham, Alabama. All tied at 63. What a game. What heart on his UAB team to come back against the eighth ranked team in the country. Unbelievable. Both these teams play like winners. The little general tries it halfway down. Perry from way downtown, not even close. Five more minutes, Dave. Buckle up. Overtime in the first ever Mike's Live Invitational. Honoring Mike's Live. Bell, a three means overtime. All time 50 and 53 in overtime games. Their second OT game of the year. They beat Xavier in Maui in their extra session game earlier this year. And how about Bell Coach sticking a three? What a rebound by Butler Day. Great job. Will Butler, junior college player from Pensacola, gets the rebound, kicks it out. Jeremiah Bell from way downtown. Tremendous heart at both teams. And uh, great comeback by Auburn. It looked like it was their game. And then UAB. So. We see the overtime rules. Five-minute periods. One more timeout. Now, UAB has a timeout now. Each period begins with a jump ball. Clock stops after the made basket. Under one, just like in a regulation game. So, anybody's ball game. All right. It could come down to free throws, Dave, because both these teams are in the double bonus. And that's a big advantage for Auburn, because UAB is not a good free throw shooting team. Only 67%. Auburn's like 71%. Keep in mind, Brian four fouls, coach. Sullivan four fouls. No major foul trouble. Okiki three, the most for Auburn. Brown is out of bounds. And UAB will have the first overtime possession here in downtown Birmingham. A sold out building honoring Mike Sly's legacy to benefit research and a cure for prostate cancer. The former SEC and Conference USA commissioner. And what a game we've had tonight. Yep. He's a great man. And it's a great game. That's one little event. And all the teams at Conference USA are going to have a, you know, fight chance tonight, Dave. And credit UAB for doing it. Oh, great great block. block on Butler. Yep. Great Butler block. Rejection. And Harper is right. bumped on the way to the basket by Bell. He just keeps going to the basket, oh, Dave. Nice pass by Perry. Goes up. Okiki says no. Great block by Okiki. Bell's third, Pete. Now, 
Harper had been perfect for the free throw on his first nine, but that miss on the second free throw gave UAB a chance to tie it, which they did on Bell's three. One more here for Harper. He's had a huge night, 22 points. Career best against Xavier in the other overtime game for Bruce Pearl and the Tigers at 25. He might get that here tonight. It's two. He's 11 of 12 for the free throw line. Well, great players get fouled a lot, Dave. They cause you to foul him, and he's certainly a great college player. Well, nice through the paint. Ten to shoot. Jeremiah Bell. Step back. Three. Way strong. Butler rebound. Knocked aside by Harper. Oh. It's out of bounds. Butler, that might have been actually off of Harper. Though. I think so, His Dave. teammates were saying, don't touch it. Too late. Yep. And that's out of bounds. Back to Auburn. Yep. Got Jeremiah Bell now on Harper, Dave. Harper. Got to walk. Samir Dowdy through traffic. Really tough shot. Can't spin it in. Rebound Great. for Butler. Great rebound by Butler. He's a warrior, Dave. Great matchup. Bryce Brown is a tremendous on-ball defender against Bryant. Ten to shoot for Bell. Sullivan skips. Perry grabs it in the corner. Baseline floater, tough shot. Can't get a roll. Oh, oh Kiki the rebound. Here comes Auburn trying to stretch the lead. Harper. They just can't match him. He's too quick. He's too good. They can't check him. And he's tied his career best with 25. Too quick, too talented. The best point guards in the country. Ah, uh, bad foul by oh, Kiki. Reaches. And Bruce Pearl says, why? Why would you do that? Yep. That's his fourth. Yep. Blazers only three of six tonight from the free throw line. Bryant one for three. That's got two free throws coming up for the Blazers. Coming up next, greatest event of rodeo concludes in Las Vegas. 15 All-Stars battle it out. Final out of competition. The crown of 2018 champion. Wrangler National Finals. Rodeo right here on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. You will see that event in its entirety when we wrap up here in Birmingham. That's coming up. Ryan hits one. Dave, he's exhausted. Played 36 minutes in regulation, now overtime with the pressure on him. They had four or five guards, different guys got him. Bryce Brown, Harper, you know, different guys on him. McCormick was on him. Dunkirk, I mean, just... Harper, still ultra quick. Step back, two. Not this time. Oh, Kiki. Lost the handle, and Butler's got the loose change. Bryant almost double dribbled. Auburn fans thought he did. You have to drive the ball now if you're UAB. Go to the rim if you can. Let's have a wide open three. On a tennis shoot. Ooh. Perry five to shoot. No traveling call. Lead in. Foul call on Brown. Three free throws coming up for Jalen Perry. Bruce Pearl was certain Perry Pete had traveled before the three-point attempt. Brown commits his third and three free throws here for Perry. And he's not a good free throw shooter, Dave, as you mentioned before. 56.3% of the year. First of three. That's a roll. <laughs> he's got a really herky-jerky release. He works at that shot every day. Hit the rim, go way up to the top, and let it roll in. That's his favorite shot, Dave. He'll take it.
Senior from Louisville. And that transfer from John A. Logan Junior College. Perry will love to get two or three for UAB. Gets a roll and hits two. Could have been a, a donut. Could have been an open three day. Fortunate to get two. He's got a new career high tonight as well. Harper on the bounce to Bryce Brown. Bryant has four fouls. That's why the outstanding point guard for UAB is off Harper. Bell's on him, but he can't guard him. Who floats? Short. Kept alive. McLemore finishes. <laughs> Tigers back through again. Bell thinking about a three ball. Short. Frame, Matt Kamara, a huge defensive rebound for Auburn. Here's the possession in a three-point game. Yep. Bryant's got four fouls now, so Harper's going to take him. He can't foul. Harper knows it. He's going to drive, Dave. you got to do it. He's done it all night. Nine to shoot. Here comes the drive. Bryant can't foul him. Got to let him go right by. And he lets it Twenty-seven for Harper, a new career best. No one can guard this guy. DiGiorno. Coach, it is the Jared Harper show, and we have a front row ticket. It's been fun to watch him tonight. Tremendous. He's lightning quick, Dave. He shoots 44% of the three-point lane. Look at that. Throwing up the top of the board, over the box. Shakes and bakes. He gets into the lane, Dave, anytime he wants. Amazing. He's so quick, so athletic. We saw it in Maui. We saw it, you and I in the game throwing dunks down against Xavier and other teams. Fabulous little guy. One of the best point guards in the country, Dave. Second team all uh, SEC, no. He's first team all SEC, in my opinion. Uh, this guy's fabulous. Diminutive Dynamo. He's listed at 5'11. Yeah. He's not 5'11. No. We talked to him today. We're yep. going to give him about 5'9 and a half, 5'10. But what a talent. For Auburn. Game's now not a two over possession now. game. Not over yet, even though a deep hole for UAB. Must have. Blazers. Bryant with the four fouls. Sullivan a long three. You bet. That's a senior stepping up. They got time. They're not the foul, Dave. Shubo Kiki lost his shoe for a moment. Down two, I wouldn't foul. I want Harper driving the ball, penetrating. If they help, you can alley oop, throw, throw the ball up there to uh, big guy, Spencer. Harper on Bell. Lost his footing. Needs some help. Turned over. Bryant. Oh. Too far for Perry. A disastrous turnover in transition for UAB. Wow. Unbelievable. Bryant played a great game. You had time. Now, bad pass. All game. They've worked on this half court deliberate set. When they needed it most, they tried to force something that wasn't there. Timeout. Right. Timeout. Called by UAB. They're out of play stoppages again. This will be a 30 second timeout. One possession game, but there's a lot of time, Pete. No question. Got to give a foul now. You don't want to foul Harper, as we see. 11 for 12 from the line, Dave. Okay, you, you want to foul one of the big guys. So, right now, all right, 20 seconds to go. Try to steal it. I get one trap, Dave, if you can. Then you got a foul right away. But you can't let Harper get the ball. I put two guys on him. Face guard him. You know, the guy inbounder and the guy who's guarding him. I put Bryant behind him. Another, the guy who's guarding the inbound in front of him. Don't let Harper to get it. Go inside. The ball goes inbounds, and I give a foul. If I'm UAB. Auburn is 23 of 30 in this game, free throw attempts. They have been to the line a lot. Yep. And then Harper now standing 11 for 12. So it's going to be in his hands again. Only lost Auburn this year in Maui. Auburn the Duke. November 
in Hawaii. All five Blue Devil starters scoring a double yep. digits. Start of the game, junior center Mark Quees. Yep. Baldwin, 11 points, nine rebounds, and incredible seven blocks. Tigers lost 78-72. Duke is really good. A great effort. Barrett and uh, Zion Williamson. Duke's freshmen are off the charts. They've unbelievable, but a great effort by Auburn in that game. But right now, right, Auburn called another timeout, which is, is crucial. All right, they want to get the ball in bounds on a side out of bound play. So I, what I would do, I can't let Harper get it. He's going to make the free throw, Dave. It's a double bonus. All right, I put two guys on him, the inbounder, and the other guy, as soon as he get in, give a foul, go for the ball. The little girls having fun. No school tomorrow, so they can stay up late. Give me the ball out of the hands of Jared Harper has been a tough order for UAB tonight. Very hard. So we got to put two guys on him, Dave. Inbounder, whoever's going to take the ball out of bounds, face guard, and the, the guard who's guarding him, probably uh, be Bryant, Zach Bryant, play behind him so he can't go to the basket. <coughs> Robert Eason tried to sub in Will Butler, but it was too late in the timeout cycle to do that. So Butler is out still for UAB for now. Two-point game with 20 seconds left in OT. The first OT. Two timeouts for Auburn, but none for the Blazers remain tonight. A packed house in Birmingham. Most of the folks are on their feet watching the exciting conclusion of this one. You try to get the ball to Luke Harper. McLemore's only 56% from the line, so if he gets it, the big guy for Auburn, I would foul him. Or Dowdy. Watch Harper, number one. Can we get him the ball? Timeout. Truma Okiki. Great defense Auburn. that time by UAB. Yeah, got to set a screen. I, I bring the guys further away from the inbound of Dave. More space. All right, I set two screens. Big guys, to, you know, spread out. Two big guys screen and two little guys, and the big guys roll back for the ball. But, uh, Got to give him time to, to run off the screen. Oh, but he's so quick, Dave. If they set a good pick, he'll get free. But he was too close that time to too congested. I want either Brown to get it or Harper, my senior or my junior. Harper, ideally, he's 11 to 12 from the line. 27 points. I like this. A little more spacing now. 170 miles separate these two campuses. We're in downtown Birmingham, and it is packed for the inaugural Mike's Live Invitational Game. One to remember for each program. Going to get the ball to Hopper. That's, that's the goal now for Auburn. Which they do. Not a good spot in the corner. And the foul. Bell to reach for now Jeremiah Bell. Come on, and it's almost automatic with Harper in the free throw line. Yep. He's 11 for 12 tonight from the strike. Calm, cool, collected. Great player. Now, Dave, if he makes one out of two, I'd foul under 10 seconds if I'm Auburn. Don't let him shoot a three to tie. One more. Right. Auburn's up three. If he makes it, you play regular D. If you're Auburn, switch on every screen. If he misses it, Dave, now I would consider. I would foul. It was me. We fouled every time as a head coach for 20 years. We won every time. About nine times we did it. And we won every time. It's tough percentages to make the first, miss the second, get the rebound, and score. Hits two more. Sub timeout. Right. Javon McLemore is in. Right. McCormick. Auburn's up four now, Dave. I would not foul if I'm Auburn. Up four. Switch on every screen. Don't foul a jump shooter. Don't foul. Make him put the ball in the basket. Shot clock turned off here, Pete. Yep. And Bryant. For the basket. Passes. Butler. And makes some slams. No timeout for UAB. And Bell trying not to commit his fifth. Bumps into Harper and does so, and that was close. So Jeremiah Bell is done with 7.9 seconds left in this first overtime. In a two-point game, free throws coming up for Harper, who is slow to get up. That was close, Dave. Very close. Not a lot of contact.
Harper is 13 of 14 from the line. Yeah. I mean, this He's guy yeah. is an absolute ace from the free throw line. 7.9 seconds to go. Only timeout of the game now belongs to Auburn. They've got one. Tyree, Scott Grayson replaces Scott Grayson Bell. replaces Bell, who's fouled out. Bryce Brown back in Auburn's yeah. Bell made some big threes, Dave, and the regulations. So it's a big loss for the Blazers. <clears throat> and back in the line for the Tigers is Jared Harper. He has two shots. Two more for the man who's the ninth all-time. Free throws made leader in Auburn history. He's going to climb that list quite a bit tonight, doesn't he? Another one. I mean, this guy is extraordinary. A career high 30 points tonight for Jared Harper. And we talked to him today. He's a very calm guy. He's very low emotion. You can kind of tell that carries over to the court. Does it again? It's perfect. He's got 31. Timeout. 15 of 16 from the line for Jared Harper tonight. Incredible. Great player. Maybe he can do it outside, inside. Tough to guard. 44% from downtown, as we mentioned before. Right? Makes his free throws. Can get in the lane anytime he wants. Come on. Have you ever seen a free throw shooting clinic like that in a game? I don't think I have. No, not in a pressure game like that. Overtime and the regulation. Tremendous. And he gets in the lane anytime he wants, Dave. Tremendous player. 94% is 15 and 16 in case yep. you're wondering. I yep. mean, just ice water in his veins. Yep. And as a team, Auburn 27 and 34 from the free throw line tonight. Huge advantage. There may be only attempt at 11 so far. All right, 7.9 to go, two possession game, Pete. Yeah, what they got to do now, I wouldn't shoot a three, Dave, unless you're wide open. I go right to the basket, go right to the cup. Right to the basket, right here. Right away. Final seconds, here's Bryant. Three seconds, launches a three, it's long. He misses, there's the horn, there's the game. And eighth rank Auburn survives a thriller in overtime, 75-71 against in-state rival UAB in the inaugural Mike Slive Invitational, a night to remember in Birmingham. Great win for Auburn coming back in a tough situation. Great effort by UAB and a wonderful first Mike Slive Foundation game.